As we mentioned, it is shaping up to be a very busy weekend here in Pittsburgh. There are concerts, there's the Three Rivers Arts Festival, and a lot of other activities as well. John Shumway is live now on the North Shore with the details on what you can expect if you're heading downtown. John? Yeah, it's pretty incredible if you think about it. You got Justin Timberlake who will be on stage in a couple of hours up at the PPG Paints Arena. You've got Mavis Staple who will be on stage here at the Arts Festival in just about an hour from now. And you have the Kenny's Navy forming over on the North Shore as well and all building up to the big day tomorrow. What all this means is that the first responders have their hands full, making sure everyone stays safe. And so tomorrow, especially in that Chesney crowd, they're going to employ kind of an interesting approach. Rising into position above Gold Lot 1. We're trying to um, prevent problems before they occur. The borrowed crow's nest locked into place. Right now we're sitting about 27 feet up. Uh, and This is the viewing point that we have. A position to see trouble as it brews. You get two people in an argument, then it escalates. Here, hopefully, we'll get the quick uh, vantage point so that we can react quickly on it. And we've seen in the past the potential in an alcohol fueled crowd at Heinz Field. So they're hoping that the crow's nest will help cut response times. It's very critical, uh, whether it's a medical emergency or a fight. So it's just the eye in the sky. One tool of many a host of officers will be using tomorrow. While the unruly nature of the crowd has improved since the 2013 mess, that is not so much true on the medical side. Not really, no. You seem year in and year out, you have the same issues. And that could mean a busy day of dehydration, impairment fueled falls and fights for Pittsburgh EMS, backed up by suburban services. In 2016, we had 38 transports that actually. Uh, uh, patients that went to the hospital and we had upwards of 120 patient contacts. Meanwhile, the first responders are going to be keeping an eye on the arts festival crowd across the river. Tame by comparison, the festival got underway today for its 10 day run with lines for the food. It's very good. I like the addition of the food trucks um, to the traditional um, fair food. You know, it's great. The artisans booths are eclectic as ever. Allison Hilton Jones is back with her jewelry made from concrete and felt. I just think there's nothing like it. A 10 day festival with hundreds of artists coming through and musicians, and uh, there really isn't anything else like that that I've been a part of. Yeah, and the Arts Festival just getting its start here today and runs for 10 days. So if you can't make it down this weekend, you'll still have plenty of an opportunity. Expect for the police to be very high profile in all of these events and quick to act when they see trouble. Zero tolerance. Live downtown, John Shumway, KDK TV News.